Hey, thanks for tuning to another episode of the Spiritual Scientist. I'm Victor. Hey, thanks for checking me out. So, I'm going to do another video. I know you guys are probably tired about hearing all about this whole thing. But, I feel, since I've seen this one, and I have a... And that it probably is from God, I feel a fiduciary responsibility to actually share my input about what it is all about. Now, I reserve the right to be incorrect. I also reserve the right to go back and correct previous videos or I sometimes delete ones and I've been trying to leave them up um, so anyway, let's get into it. Um, thought about it yesterday a lot. And you know what kept coming up on my feed is about Biden letting transgenders into the military. Now, Biden just didn't let transgenders into the military under Trump's plan. He already had transgenders in the military. What Biden is changing is saying that if there's someone in the military and they feel like they're transgendered, then the American taxpayer should have to foot the bill for them to go through the quote-unquote corrective surgery to, to become a transgendered person. So, in essence, he's putting that on the American people. Now, is that alone enough to make God upset and to show that he's upset by giving the sign of Noah at the inauguration? Probably. I would think so. I would think that that would be a bad thing. Is is would God be upset enough to destroy the earth, pretty much? Like he did in the time of, you know, Noah. That's why we had the story and the whole thing. Yeah, could be. That's a possibility. So the whole thing about seeing the sign of Noah at the inauguration should be scare the living crap out of everybody, really. Um, now, this isn't a channel where I expo expout about scary things and try to scare people into religious uh, negativity and uh, pursuing ecstasy and that. Hey, gloom and doom. In fact, my last video, I left off on a positive note. Uh, but I feel like, again, I, I would be remiss if I didn't mention that uh, the whole story about the in the Bible about Noah is in fact about, you know, that the earth was destroyed. <laughs> and I think it's something to, you know, take a quick look at, if anything. Now, uh, according to ancient scriptures and texts, um, going back to Gilgamesh and the uh, Sumerian texts, it's an ancient story. So we could unpack that a little bit. The story of Noah is an ancient story. Uh, in, in fact, in, in Native Americans had uh, lore about this in mythology, and most cultures have a mythos about the ark and a ship that animals were taken in and um, whatnot. So it's very interesting when you look at everything and how the this is transpiring now. So I would say that it seems to be, let's say God, a higher intelligence, is using this Mandela effect to try to convey an idea story in the best way possible now 
a uh, couple of things about it that I was thinking about this morning is that one of the things is that people who are seeing the Mandela effect, this particular one, like for instance, I know it was white background, then black, and then blue, and the bird was changed three different times, as exactly like now, the story of, you know, Noah releasing the do uh, raven and then the two doves in the Bible. So to me, this is exactly like it. Now to correct something, the second dove in the Bible now, you know, brings back an olive leaf. It was an olive branch to me, uh, but you know, I said it was the third one in my last video, so I wanted to correct that. But what the important thing, you know, is to go through, I thought as well, where I left off at the end of my last video, where I don't think a lot of people were able, I was trying to speak quickly, I'm packing a lot of information, um, is that Katniss, the name Katniss is a plant, and the plant really means, uh, in, in the Hunger Games, means Sagittarius, and so I was linking it with some, uh, with, uh, um, some thought into saying, hey, that's Sagittarius, strangely enough, people see the Mandel effect, um, I feel like they're, and they say they're like me, from the Sagittarius arm, so I was trying to link that together, um, which you could say is pretty far-fetched, but, you know, as, as things go, um, I kind of came up with that, it, it made perfect sense to me at the time, it still kind of does, um, what I mean to say is that I feel a responsibility since I saw all three backgrounds and three different birds that I feel responsibility to talk about this to bring out the message that you know we should stop this this evil path and you know turn around otherwise there's a big judgment coming from God is pretty much this sign. Um, now, do I think all Mandela effects are from God? I think they're all spiritual. Um, all, if not all of them, most of them, I don't think they all have to be, you know, from God. I think they could be from, you know, I still think it could be from, you know, could be CERN. I'm open to all possibilities. It could be the devil, you know, it could be aliens. I'm open I try to look at all things at different angles. Could be a raising of vibration. It could be, you know, many different things. What I can tell you is that this one seems to be very intelligently designed, and it seems to be from God because, um, first of all, it's beautiful. Um, it was a beautiful sign, and that lends itself to say, "Hey, this is," and it's definitely intelligently designed. I mean, you know, so. If it's beautiful, it's intelligently designed, it's pretty much from God. Um, now, there, that would be, again, a remiss if I did not mention about another bird and another sign that was given a few years ago. Uh, the Pope let out a dove and a raven came and ate the dove, right? And that was glossed over a lot in the media. But uh, at the time, the Pope, you know, a lot of things with the church was with uh, pedophilia. So all the priests with the, you know, being pedophiles came out and that was a sign as well. So what this seems to be is, to me, is sexual immorality and about, you know, people... Um, being evil. So back in the time of, uh, you know, Noah, um, what happened is Sodom and Gomorrah and all that, um, they were, you know, with the pillar of salt and then, you know, the flood. There was definitely, you know, people were being immoral, sexual immorality, and people were acting evil, and that's why you know, God did that judgment, but said just to 
correct my last video as well. He didn't say he wouldn't destroy the earth again. He said he wouldn't do it with a flood. Okay. So I just wanted to correct that. Uh, you know, I think it's important for people to come to repentance and, you know, uh, and let me mention Jesus and to, you know, come to Jesus and be covered in the blood of Christ and come to repentance. And that's the probably the best thing I could, you know, advice I could tell you is that this seems to be, you know, I talk a lot about different Mandela effects and other things spiritual on my channel. Now, I ask for people to give comments at the you know end of my videos when I can have people comment sometimes it doesn't let me for various reasons um, just to say I you could comment if you have a negative comment or whatever you could negative comment I don't get any money from these videos in fact I told people to buy cryptocurrency uh, any cryptocurrency in a video sometime before if you would have and timed it right right now you'd be filthy rich and you could have sent me money I haven't gotten a penny from anybody from doing these videos but uh, so certain things I say certain times and it would have benefited a lot of people um, but that's fine what I'm saying is uh, in the nicest way possible I don't really give a uh, uh, a flying fart in a hurricane what people really think of me uh, and that's a freedom and that's pretty much I think it, it's an important freedom and I think it's a freedom that people value in watching my channel because I'll just say the truth and if it's gonna hurt me if it's gonna hurt you know it, it's the truth so that's just the way it is maybe that's what I'm saying is maybe that's the reason why I saw this Mandela effect I think I think God is so smart that people underestimate um, what you know who he chooses to see the Mandel effects uh, and who he chooses to see all of them so maybe you're seeing part of them and then you could trust me for telling you the rest of it maybe you don't trust me that's fine you know maybe you trust only your what your eyes see and your ears hear I get it man I totally get it uh, but I don't really care if you think I'm an idiot. I don't really care if you think I'm stupid. I don't really, it doesn't bother me in the least if you think I'm crazy. It doesn't, doesn't matter to me. If they found out at my job that I was making these videos and they, you know, I don't care. It really doesn't bother me because I'm saying the truth as I see it and God made this Mandela effect it seems to be and I would be not holding up my end of it to not talk about it and saying hey people should turn from their evil ways um, and I feel like I was intimating for people being from the Sagittarius arm and seeing this that I think it's your responsibility too to come out and say hey people stop being you know, jerks and sinning and doing all these bad things. Otherwise, you know, worse things can happen. I think that's what is our responsibility. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. And again, I don't really care <laughs> in the nicest way possible. Uh, thanks so much. Tune in, like, subscribe, share. Peace out, Cub Scouts. Bye-bye.